So, obviously yesterday, it was uh, Thursday. You know what that means. Ratings. Ratings came in for AEW and NXT. So, AEW Dynamite and NXT both down. Obviously, they were going head-to-head with the impeachment trial. Dynamite, 741,000 viewers. Down 12% from last Wednesday. NXT, 558,000 viewers. Down 8.5% from last week. You know, when I post these numbers and all these crazy people go on my timeline and there's like 5,000 comments and people are doing animated GIFs and all this craziness, there's always that guy that goes, well, you know, there's 1.5 million people watching wrestling. That's great news. I don't know if that guy was on this week, but we were down to the lowest number of viewers watching wrestling on Monday night since last May. 1.29 million viewers. Holy smokes. 18 to 49. Dynamite did a 0.29 rating, down 9.4%. NXT a 0.12. NXT tied its lowest mark of all time in 18 to 49. Dynamite number 21 in 18 to 49 on the chart. Actually, I think it might have been a oh, second among non-news programming for for AEW. They actually beat the NBA. At 18 to 49. NXT, however, finished like number 63. 62, I'm, I'm sorry. I almost made it look like they did poorly. They finished at number 62 on the cable charts. So, year over year, if you want to do all your yeah buts and dynamites in the mud and this and that, dynamites down 9.3% year over year and 3.3% in 18 to 49. NXT down 26.3% in viewership and down 50%. 50% in 18 to 49. The show is dying a death. So hopefully they can turn it around cuz it ain't looking good, but those are your numbers for AEW and NXT. I think everybody usually gets mad on Thursday, but if you want to get mad today, go for it. But there's your numbers, everybody. So that's it. I want to see somebody try to desperately plant the flag for NXT and give me something good out of that. There's nothing good (laughs) there at all. And nobody can say the dynamite is in the mud. The last 10 weeks, they've averaged 815,000 viewers, and they were over 900,000 twice. And their lowest numbers have come at times of big news, which is also – Hurt NXT as well, too. So not good. The 1.3 million combined, not good. Uh, That's been a bugaboo of mine since back to the Impact TNA days where they were drawing between 1.2 and 1.5 million people seemingly no matter what. Um, that number needs to grow for all of us. That number needs to grow. And it's going to grow from 18 to 34s and 18 to 49s and younger people watching wrestling. WWE is going to be touting what they've been doing with Bad Bunny because it has been doing well that way. They've run off a bunch of women, which we talked about this week as well, too, and girls, teenage girls and things like that. But, you know, we need to get those numbers up. They have to be up. But you can't say that Dynamite is not doing their part because of the numbers that they're doing, not only overall, but in that demographic. And if you're TNT, you got to be ecstatic. You know, there's always been the battle between them and USA and a handful of other channels as to who is going to be number one on cable. And USA has dominated that over the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years or so. They've always been able to do it, but with the NBA and now with AEW drawing in, you know, these types of demos and and these types of numbers that advertisers love overall on the network, it's a, it's a nice shine for them. So, you know, obviously USA and WWE have a great relationship, but Something's going to have to give, and maybe the best thing that happens is if the NHL does not do a deal where they move Hockey Night in America uh, off of Wednesday nights and it stays on USA, um, 
that might be the best case scenario because it would get NXT off to maybe Thursday, hopefully not to a weekend. I don't believe that that's even in the, the realm of happening, but maybe bump it to Thursday and maybe that'll help. But any other deal besides going head up with, with AEW right now is probably going to be the best for the ratings overall. AEW quadruple. NXT in 18 to 34 doubled women 18 to 34 more than doubled men 35 to 49 and basically doubled women 35 to 49. Now what is interesting, AW doubled NXT every quarter in the key demo. However, interestingly enough of all things, AW's main event was Kenta Kenny Omega versus John Moxley and Lance Archer. NXT main evented with Grizzled Young Vets versus Ciampa and Timothy Thatcher, who Timothy Thatcher normally, I mean, kills the numbers. But for whatever reason, which I cannot explain to you, that was one of the closest quarters of the entire evening. Like, most people would have expected that Moxley and Omega, Kenta, Archer, ECW-style brawl all over the building, going up against Timothy Thatcher would have been a massacre. And in fact, was not. 692,000 viewers for AEW, 536 for NXT. And the interesting thing, when you talk about, why don't we just get NXT off Wednesdays and it would help both shows? I mean, it would probably help AEW. And I'm sure it would probably help NXT a little bit. But when NXT, when AEW went off the air, NXT had a nine-minute overrun. So if you were watching AEW, if you wanted to, you could go switch over, see what's going on on, on NXT. 8,000 18 to 49 viewers bothered to switch. Ooh. That was it. So they didn't even care about watching NXT when there was no AEW on. So this Dusty Classic, I mean, they, 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 I like they, that they, they do it, it, but down. it's not going to do much. Having two of them watered it down, it really did, you know, especially without having an established women's tag team, you know, the ranks there. And, and on the men's side, I mean, everything, it just has not been, they have not had an exciting year at all. Even if things were, were humming as far as matchmaking goes and things like that, I mean, there's still no buzz behind it. So, you know, a lot of the hype that was behind that Dusty Classic before, you know, the, the, some of that, that shine is gone, unfortunately, and they're going to have to make it unique again, and they're going to have to build towards it and make it something serious over the span of, like, six weeks. Make it really something that you're building into. Make teams really compete for it instead of just throwing, you know, qualifying matches out there. I mean, that's something that Raw would always do, and they bastardize that, you know, King of the Ring qualifiers or this qualifier or that you know, you always usually know the result anyway. I mean, they, they really need to get a figure out a way to kind of spice some things up that desperately. They, they just need to do that in general over there badly. As for Zez, I never understood why I'm supposed to care about this tag team tournament. Well, I mean, there's it's the Dusty Classic. So I think that out of respect for Dusty, you're supposed to care a little bit. But the other issue, what in the world has ever, I mean, the winners of the Dusty Classic. I mean, first off, can you name all five winners of the Dusty Classic? Where did this go when they won the Dusty Classic? The women's Dusty Classic. Okay, so the winners are going to challenge for the main roster tag titles. Nobody has any faith on, on what, Shotzi and uh, and uh, uh, Ember Moon Ember. are going to go to the main roster and win the tag titles. Does anybody believe for one second that's going to happen? Not to mention the champions. It's Nia and Shayna. Oh, Nine Chain are going to come down to NXT and, and beat them? I don't think anybody has any faith in any of this, so that's one of the problems. But anyway, that's the story. Back in a moment with more Observer Live. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes. Over 300 at current count. Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.